Now, as part of its renewable energy strategy, the economic community of West African state ECOWAS has declared readiness to produce 0.5 million tons of green hydrogen annually by 2030 and 10 million tons by 2050. The position of the body came to the fore at a two-day capacity building workshop of ECOWAS private sector actors and green hydrogen held in Lagos. Plus, TV correspondent Lobo Yudukum was there and now reports. The two-day regional capacity building workshop focused on exploring the potential of green hydrogen in the region. The workshop equipped participants with the necessary knowledge and skills to harness the benefits of green hydrogen in addressing energy challenges and promoting economic growth in West Africa. Dr. Bruno Kogu, the regional coordinator for renewable energy and green hydrogen at the West African Science Service Center on climate change and adapted land use. Waska strongly believes the region has immense potential in terms of renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydrogen. Green hydrogen is today more and more considered in all the energy strategies all over the world as a vector for decarbonizing a lot of sectors uh, uh, across the world. You can cite the sector of industrial sectors, steel industry, cement, rough refinery, transport, energy, and so on. So this unique energy vector is today uh, like perceived as the energy of future, as you know. There are, there are a lot of debates, debates regarding climate change and a lot of commitments of all, almost all the states of the world to go for decarbonizing their sectors in order to fulfill our climate agenda. Hi, Saint Elayo, Sustainable Energy Policy Officer at ECRI, stated that the ECOWAS region has adopted ambitious targets for green hydrogen production as part of the organization's regional policy and strategy framework. ECOWAS policymakers, our role is to create an enabling environment for investments. Uh, but the private sector are really uh, the engine and the growth uh, drivers. They are our soldiers in the field and our... our our objective basically for this workshop is to ensure that we are able to interact with them, especially the key industries that are, that are present here. We have a key uh, capital industry here in the uh, hard to abate uh, sectors, uh, cement, refineries, steel, uh, transport, uh, the end users of green hydrogen. We want them to actually champion uh, this policy and help develop uh, uh, invest, investment uh, projects that can drive me in the across the region. al Hazan Dantata, the Executive Vice Chairman of Synergy Infrastructure Development and Investment Limited, SIDRL, stated that a green hydrogen is the world's final option to transition to clean energy. We have the sun 365 days in a year. Okay, we have the wind. Because coming from the Sahara, we have the northeast trade winds that always keep the windmills turning 24-7. So we have got no excuse. We should be the front runners of green hydrogen. That's the bottom line. Africa should be able to export power through submarine cables, just like we're importing bandwidth from Europe. We should be giving them power because we have got the sun, we've got the wind, and we've got the water. It's just our will. Do you have the political will? Do you have the, the right mindset? Do we, do, can we collaborate? While declaring the workshop open, Temi Tokwe Dino, the Assistant Director of the Federal Ministry of Power, describes the regional journey towards a sustainable and green future as a collective effort. Love Oyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.